So, Bindi Helrix is flat out amazing. Now, I'm sure you've all seen the new DTV contest and heard about the voting that's going on at the moment. There are a lot of amazing mocks, all of which we're flashing across the screen right now. But one of them has really stood out. One that I'm sure at this point you've probably seen some fan art of, or at the very least heard about. Bindi Helrix. Now, there have been quite a few reasons cited for the support of this mock, all of which I'm going to try to flash across the screen as TTV message board comments. Uh, just leave some time for those to read them. And continuing. Some people are voting for it due to a lack of options that they agree with, others because they feel the mock shown don't represent the G1 aesthetic, at least in the bracket that exists with number six, the Bendy. Eh, or they don't do it well enough, and some of them are probably just voting because it's a meme and funny. Now, this was probably created as a meme, but it's done a very good job of creating a mock that's more inspiring than the entire lot of them put together. This very simple, easy to build model has managed to create a following and generate a large amount of fan art, and as a result, fans. It has captured the very soul of what the label group claims to cherish, and therefore holds the most worth out of the mocks submitted. The others are good, but they're not inspiring. <laughs> they have not generated a fan following with fan art and the like. They're amazingly built, but they don't do what Bionicle mocks should do. Inspire. <laughs> so, I would like to encourage you all, if you're fans of Bionicle and you have a few minutes, to go sign up for the TTV message boards and help cement this wonderful fan creation into the lore of the franchise. Or vote for some of the other cool mocks you saw at the start of the video. Did I pick favorites? Potentially. Now, honestly, I just want this mock to at least make it to finals. I'm not exactly expecting it to become canon, but I think it deserves to be in the final bracket, at least more than this Bayformer-esque mock that's currently leading in the number six bracket. I mean, it's a good mock, but it looks nothing like a Bionicle. In fact, it's something I'd expect out of a Blizzard game. Bionicles don't have skeletons. They don't have rib cages. <laughs> it's just not very Bionicle looking. And um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, anywho, I hope you all enjoyed this little presentation as much as I did editing it. Wait a second. <laughs>